Tell me this, with five guys in the group, how do you decide who gets the first verse? It's like strategically <laughs> set out now. It's it's like all thought out. Might make sense for me to go first, B or Cray, or it, 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 whatever makes sense for the particular song, that's how we line it up. Now sometimes you might move the person at the end to the to second or the, mm -hmm. the one that's at, coming off first to the middle. It, it varies. You start from scratch, you put everything in the pot before you stir it up. I mean, you know, you stir it up, you get the aromas and be like, oh, okay, well, you want to put this right over here on the plate. Set this, I'm going to set the chicken by the, the broccoli and the broccoli by the rice and the rice by the biscuits, you know what I mean? You you, you organize it different ways every time, but, you know, it's just it's a one big pot of gumbo, so it don't matter who go first or last. The shit coming off raw. Bone always starts its albums off with a remarkable song. What's going to be the first song on Unify? Man, so many, it's so many songs that can start it off. We you got the vibe, you got the vibe to right. listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> you might start this one off with a flesh and bone solo song, you know. You've been gone you know. 10 years, you know. <clears throat> My vote is let, let him take off. Show the world how rest, rusty they is. You know what I mean? Because ain't no rust over here. None. But we might start off telling them the game ain't ready. We might start off saying these haters don't want to see us shine. We don't know yet. We ain't there yet. You know? So we'll get, we'll get all into that. All those things is kind of like playing to the last minute, the fourth quarter, two-minute drill of the whole situation. So, you know, it, it all varies. It, it's how we feel and it, it's how we feel at that particular time, which we already understand it's gonna be that, that that piece, that body of work is gonna embody a time and place in our life that we can never get back. So it'll be carefully thought out. Did any of the songs on the new album move any of you to tears during its creation? <laughs> No, we ain't gonna admit to that. Depends on how much he said. Know. We ain't gonna admit to this shit. That depends on how much he said. But but I but I tell you, it's 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 a lot of albums that I get stuck to. I get when when it's playing. For example, this "Meet Me in the Sky." Mm. It's such a powerful song, and its tone and its melody. It's one of them songs that make you stop, pause, and really, really think just with just the melody alone. If it move us to that type of emotion, you can imagine what it's gonna do for the fans that's already super in love with the group and, and show such a powerful and positive response to a lot of the stuff we work on. Yeah, and I think it's, it's like the particular time that you may be listening to a song is just like with Crossroads and Lil Boo didn't pass away and Uncle Charles and and E and Auntie and all the rest of them, then we wouldn't have been moved to make that remix, to bring that forth. So it's 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 gonna be at a particular time, like Meet Me in the Sky, like my brother was was speaking about, it's gonna be something that if somebody hears something and they reminiscing or something of that nature, it's just gonna go with the mood and the emotion of, of what's actually going on. Mm. But when you got these five young brothers in there at work and putting together a classic, we're focused. Our minds are focused. Our thoughts are focused. You know, as far as, I don't know if everyone it thinks the same way and things of that nature, but we're just focused on putting together something that best can captivate not only the title of the song, but the emotions of, of the music and the subject matter and sounds good and something that you can you can you can fuel yourself off of so all of the elements are put together and so on and so forth. Little sister wants to know when's the last time all five members of Bone went to the movies together? Man, never. You want to see a movie? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of gay. Uh, the only movies we ever seen together, we was broke and couldn't get to the movie. But now, no, but I see the last movie we all saw together was uh, Boys in the Hood. Oh, hey, yeah, was we did um, go um, see Flesh, that, did you, know, you did you come to us to go see Set It, it Off? After was we all together? Remember when we seen Set It Off no, together? Cray Wright, Boys in the Hood Boys was the hood. last one. I had. After seeing Boys in the Hood, you wound up with, with an Impala just like the one that uh, uh, Cube had, is that correct? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
I mean, you know, that whole thing, though, everything Easy E and them did, like, before we was actually in the rap, you know, that was our life, you know. We was out there doing all that. Boys in the hood, fuck the police. We was actually on the block doing the running man to that shit with a high top fade. So, you know, we lived that. So we, we emulated a lot of that, you know. We actually <laughs> were blessed enough to get with E. Hold on, man. Don't disrespect me like that. <laughs> what he say? What he say? <laughs> I'm with you, like yeah. I had a hot top thing too. Fuck these niggas. Fuck them niggas on the south side. I ain't answering no questions. <laughs> Wish you had that high top fade too. Nah, we ain't never get out top like that. Fade, nah. Wish you did too have a high top fade with your lying ass. You did have a fade. I got a picture with this nigga with a fade too. Up here, man. Nigga lying. Eight inches tall on the picture. Don't know what he came out on the internet. Don't know what he came out. Don't know what he saw. I'm gonna find that motherfucker.